Hello and welcome to another episode of A Brief History. Today's episode of The Game Theorist. Ready, set, go. August 23rd, 2009. Aspiring stage actor and director Matthew Patrick sets up a YouTube channel called Matthew Patrick 13 and begins uploading videos to promote his career in theater. These videos included everything from monologues and musical numbers to audition tapes and full-fledged scenes from shows he had been in. Matt continued to upload these videos until Christmas Eve 2010 when he uploaded a slightly modified version of the video that he used to propose to his wife Stephanie. This was the very first video that Matt really put a good amount of work into in terms of editing and production. Wait, 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 wait. Are, are you serious? Is that... Wait, that's actually true. Seriously? Come on, that's adorable. <laughs> can we get can we get like a canned aw sound effect for that real quick? <laughs> All right, there, that, that's it. There we go. Fantastic. Anyway, after about three years touring around in theater, Matt began to realize that this was just not an industry he wanted to be a part of anymore. And the final nail in the coffin came when Matt caught a performance of Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark, a musical based around the arachnid-themed superhero that was so bad, it solidified Matt's decision to leave a field he had been planning to work in since preschool. Spider-Man, Dream Crusher. How could you do this to me, Bono? How could you do this to me? However, despite being smart and talented, he struggled to find anyone willing to hire him, so he did what anyone else would do in this situation. He took to the internet! <laughs> And on April 14th, 2011, Matt uploaded a promo video announcing a brand new web show called Game Theory. Inspired by the escapist show Ga Inspired by the escapist show Extra Credits, Game Theory sought to be, as MatPat put it, gaming's tangential learning experience. Which essentially means that the show would use everything from math, science, and history to solve the mysteries of gaming. Mysteries such as where exactly does Adventure Island take place, and is Dig Dug's pump powerful enough to pop a human? You know, there are a few games that those in the average YouTube demographic would have actually heard of. But not that many. Episode 1 of Game Theory, which centered around the accuracy of Chrono Trigger's time travel, was uploaded on April 18th, 2011, and has since amassed over 950,000 views to this day. The majority of early episodes of Game Theory were uploaded to three different sites. The first, of course, being MatPat's YouTube channel, and the other two sites being Game Trailers and ScrewAttack.com, where Game Theories were regularly featured on each respective site's front page. However, despite Game Theory's excellent performance on Game Trailers and ScrewAttack, around episode 22 of the show, Matt decided to focus all of his future uploads solely onto his YouTube channel. And not long after making this choice, Matt also brought two new shows to the Game Theorist lineup, and the the first of these shows was called Game Exchange. Hosted by Gaijin Goomba, a visually impaired squeaky voice Super Mario Goomba with a knife. Um, it's actually a sword. And it's called the Pixel Cutter. Shut up! Game Exchange was conceptually very similar to Game Theory, except it focused more on culture and history than its more scientifically minded Big Brother. Later on in early 2014, Gaijin Goomba started another show on the Game Theorist channel known as Culture Shock, which expanded on the ideas of Game Exchange. The next new show to be added to the Theorist lineup was a series about game design known as Digesting and Sidequesting by Ronnie Ani Edwards. Excuse me? That's digressing? Inside questing. Up, 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 up. Don't interrupt me, or I'll find you. Having met Matt Pat via random internet encounters, Ronnie's podcast, Ronnie also eventually became the video editor for virtually all subsequent game theories. All but one. So with the original team of theorists now assembled, Matt Pat began to release some of the channel's most interesting and popular videos. The most notable of these videos include the Sonic is Slow episode, how PewDiePie conquered YouTube, the Mario is Mental series, and his most viewed video to date is Link Dead in Majora's Mask featuring Peanut Butter Gamer. Each of these episodes and more have amassed multiple millions of views, with the Zelda episode in particular boasting over 5 million views. Thanks to the popularity of these episodes and the added draw of game exchange and digressing and side questing, by September of 2013, the Game Theorist channel had surpassed 500,000 subscribers, and Matt celebrated this milestone with a Draw My Life special. So game Theory was really starting to attract attention. In fact, the channel gathered steam so quickly that only about three months after Matt Pat's 500k Draw My Life video, the channel had already doubled in subscribers, surpassing 1 million by December of 2013. Not to brag, but since then we've actually doubled the sub count again, currently boasting 2.5 million subscribers, hashtag humble brag. Hey, come on, you're not supposed to come in until the end of the video. You've ruined the surprise now. Whoops. Sorry, I'll just go into the other room. Why am I working with these people? Anyway, as I was saying, right before MatPat uploaded his 1 million subscriber special, he introduced yet another new series to the Theorist lineup. This show, known as Crossover, premiered on the Game Theorist channel on December 28th, 2013. Written by Drake McWhopper and featuring art by Kenny Lamfield, Crossover attempted to link all video games into one singular universe. Sort of like the Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon, but much more in-depth and about video games instead of washed-up actors. McWhopper? Seriously? Did this guy do any research? My name is Drake McWhorter. Yeah, and my name isn't Lamfield, it's Landefeld. And I co-write the show as well. I personally think the names are an improvement, and remember, never interrupt me. Ever. Outside of the Game Theorist channel, MatPat works in audience development for dozens and dozens of other popular online content creators. Ronnie has a personal channel that seems to have been inactive for quite some time, but I honestly can't blame him. I can say from personal experience that editing Game Theory takes quite a lot of work and his effort definitely does not go unappreciated. Gaijin Goomba also has a personal channel where he vlogs about various different topics and uploads episodes of Game Exchange. He also has a Let's Play channel called the Gaijin Gamers Play, which also features the Gecko Ninja, his wife Akitara, and more recently, Alochi. Don't ask me what any of those names mean. 
but they're there. And Drake and Kenny of Crossover each have their own personal channels. Drake's self-titled channel features vlogs about various topics, reviews, unboxing videos, and even challenge videos. And finally, Kenny's personal channel features everything from Let's Plays to drawing videos to podcasts. The game theorists may be one of the most unique groups of gamers on the internet, for they aren't simply concerned with playing games. Rather, they choose to dive headfirst into each game's universe, researching, theorizing, and proving that gaming is more than just a pastime. When used right, games can be a real tool for true education. And whether it's tying Mario to communism, connecting Super Meat Boy to Daytona USA, showing how Sonic 06 connects to cultural legends of the devil, or comparing the design aspects of two different Zelda games. Wait, no. No, not that one. That's the one, there we go. These five overthinkers show that there is so much more to gaming than we think. And with multiple new game theorist projects coming down the pipeline as we speak, I think it's safe to say that we have a lot more to learn. But hey, that's just our history. Our brief history. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my brief history of the Game Theorist video. I just want to take this opportunity to thank Gaijin Goomba, Ronnie, Drake, Kenny, and Matt all for lending me their voices and avatars for this episode. But the collaboration does not end there. A slightly modified version of this very episode of A Brief History will also be uploaded to the Game Theorist channel sometime very soon if it isn't already. So it's very possible that we may have some new friends to welcome into our family of brief historians. Things are going pretty crazy for me recently, and I have a lot of exciting collaborations and projects coming out throughout the rest of the year, so do forgive me if some videos don't get uploaded precisely on time. But I I will always do my best to try and get something out for you guys every scheduled week. But for now, make sure you head on over to the Game Theorist channel and check out Matt, Ronnie, Goomba, and the crossover guys. This link will take you to a recent episode of Game Theory that I actually got the chance to edit, and from there, the channel is yours to explore. And if you'd like, be sure to check out my last brief history on the Kirby franchise. I really like it, so did my mom, so maybe you will too. Anyway, that's all I got for you now, so thanks for watching, guys. DFTBA. Final nail in the coffin came when Matt caught a performance of Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark, a musical- Ah ha ha!